Hi guys, 2016 Skoda Octavia 1.6 TDI just started getting two uh, main errors with some additional charge pump failure and the heater support pump failure maybe don't, they don't, don't normally come together but i have them both together and just to show you if you get either of those i have listed um, fault codes in description and the video name so that's how you found this video basically what is going on on these uh, newer engines 1.6 cdi the intercooler is water cooled so this big bulge in the front of the engine so that's where the inter uh, intake air intake and that's where the um, air gets cooled after the turbo and uh, there are a few coolant pipes coming in and there are two water pumps underneath one's in front of the engine you see that's the bumper so in front of the engine that's one that's for uh, coolant uh, that to, to send coolant uh, through the intercooler so, and there is another one heater support pump so support pump I think they are same pumps might be same check, don't take my word for it but check it with the part supplier so this one I think it's dead but with this one seems to be fine and then what I found I'll just come from this end I had to clear these wires a little bit and as you can see they all exposed, they all naked. Let me get the light right. And uh, they, they were just touching each other. So there was like short circuit here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it, because wire seems to be okay, but it's just the insulation. So I'm gonna wrap each individually with the insulation tape and see if it fixes. So that's the front part that's on the front between bumper and the engine. So if you get the uh, coolant, uh, circuit uh, error for coolant co coolant pump for charged air pressure or something you'll see description so that could be the issue you might not need the pump as for the second pump I'm gonna just replace it because wiring here seems to be all secure um, but the pump is dead i've got a spare pump anyway so i'm gonna replace this rear pump which is behind the engine towards the subframe and the rear of the car that's a heater support pump i've connected them in two in one medium i don't think they come together these problems but nevertheless i have them both so but it's good to know it's good to cover both with one video heater support pump and intercooler all as it's called on the uh, error code charged air cooler support pump so this one i'm gonna re-insulate wiring this one i'm gonna replace and let you know the result in a few seconds and before i show you the results of the of my repair right this bracket is broken it's like a soft like a plastic bracket that holds it same as here this one is whole this one is broken so i don't think it matters that much so i'm gonna so it's fairly simple to replace there is a, a plug here what you do let me show you better you push this plastic bit out that gray bit then you press on it and then you pull the plug off there we go strip in plug and then you you left with two hoses with the clamps you squeeze the clamp one the clamp two intake output and that's pretty simple pump and the pump is very common so this is the pump i'm going to replace it with that's a part number 0392023454 it's used all over the place so i believe it's going to be this pump and the rear one so it looks pretty much the same so i'm going to 12 volt pump so i'm going to replace this pump and this one i'll do rewiring and i'll show you the results it's gonna leak, so put the tray underneath as you release these clumps. This is what it's leaking like. This is great tool. I might put description video link for clump release. Squeeze, squeeze it, squeeze the clump and take it off. Then 
another one will, will come off there. Easy peasy. Right, the pump is out. This is an amazing tool. I'm just look for the clamp uh, release tool like this. I'm not even gonna put the link. Maybe I will, I don't know. Depends how I feel. But it's very common and it's amazing tool. You just squeeze and then you can fix it in the position squeezed. And this is our old pump and this is our new Bosch pump, which is pretty much the same, looks legit to me, same connection, same everything. So I'm gonna install it. So, and this is the final result of this wiring. I've wrapped them all individually with the solid tape. Um, I might do another layer over the top just for protection because it's bottom of the car, lots of dirt coming in. Uh, I'm not gonna say that it's the way to fix it. It's uh, just the point of this video to show you where the problem is normally with this because this is quite common. Uh, how you fix it is up to you. If you can do it more neat, more professional, is up to you. I do what I can. This is a final result with the heater pump and uh, I put it on a cable tight to the same thing instead of this soft plastic. Uh, might do it properly but um, it's a hassle to get, go and get it. It's, the whole point of it is just to hold it in place. And this is another layer of the solid tape. It's a tricky thing because uh, you see there is a oil filter here. When, whenever you change the oil filter it leaks here so Sometimes it gets a bit here, maybe that, but I'm not sure what's causing it, but nevertheless, it's a common problem. Fixed. We'll see the, if it doesn't bring us any errors. That's it, guys. End of story. There is no fault codes. Uh, everything's working as it should. My uh, intercooler working now. I have a little bit more power from this little small engine, so... Thank you for watching!